Hello students, today we're going to learn how to factor. Factoring? Factoring sounds like fun. Uh, I, I don't get it. Uh, I, I really don't get it. Uh, I have no idea how they're doing this. Uh, what's this magic? Are you crazy? I can't do this. I don't know how to do it. I give up. I quit. I quit. I quit. Oh, all the stages of factoring. Hack. How many of you would you see this page, this work here, and go crazy going, oh my God, there's no way I'll ever be able to do any of these things. I'm going to show you how to factor a few of these um, today. And I hope by the time I'm done, I'm only going to do like two or three, and then I'm going to show you how to use your tools in your calculator factor. So very quickly, we're going to factor just a few of these. So the first one I'm going to factor is, uh, I don't think I have it in OneNote, and I'm not going to be able to write on it. So let me get it into OneNote while I'm doing that. What we're going to do is you're going to use your calculator to um, do this. Now, this only works if you have the TI Inspire. It will not work if you don't have the TI Inspire. So I come over here. I'm going to go to page 3 because that's where all the hard ones are. And I'm going to work on this one right here, 4N plus 8N minus 21. Now, at first glance, that appears to be an incredibly difficult question. Now, what I'm really going to do is I'm really going to just give you the answers. I'm just going to give you the answers. So I come over to my calculator and I say, okay, calculator, do let's do this for me. Let's clear out of whatever's there. I go into menu. I go into algebra. I go into poly tools, and I hit that too fast. So menu, algebra, poly tools, and find roots of polynomials. Yes, it's a second degree, and all I got to do is tell it the numbers. 4, 8, and negative 21. 4, 8, and negative 21. Hit enter, or hit OK. Is this it? 4x squared plus 8x minus 21? Yeah, that's it. Enter, and there's your two answers. Negative 7 over 2 and 3 over 2. Negative 7 over 2 and 3 over 2. Well, now you have to learn to work backwards. If I work backwards, this 2 really belonged here. So this really was a 2x equals negative 7. And then bring this over, and that really was a 2x plus 7 equals 0. And that's your first parentheses, 2x plus 7. 2 goes in front here. It gives me 2x equals 3. Slide the 3 forward. I get 2x minus 3 equals 0. And my other parentheses is 2x minus 3. Done. All she wrote. Let's try one, two more. We're going to try this one, 6, 11, and 72. So we'll go menu, algebra, polynomial tools, and find some roots. Hit enter. And it was two, 6, 11, and 72. So 6, 11, and negative 72, except for it was negative 11. And negative 72. Enter. Click OK. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's it. Hit Enter. Oh, negative 8 over 3 and 9 over 2. So x equals negative 8 over 3 and x equals 9 over 2. So where did those come from? Well, eventually you'll be able to just pop right into the answers, right into the, the, um, the parentheses. This one I'll just go slowly back again. The 3 came from here, so it's 3x equals negative 8. Bring the 8 over, and I get 3x plus 8. So 3x plus 8. And let's see if I can do this. This is 2x equals 9. Bring the 9 over, and it's 2x minus 9. There's your factoring. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is take out a GCF if you have one. Like, this one has a 2 in it. So I still have to take the GCF out. So I get 8k squared minus 10k minus 3. And then you can factor. So this one is 8, negative 10, and negative 3. So menu, algebra, poly tools, find the roots. Yes, it's a quadratic. I forgot what they were already. 8, negative 10, and negative 3. 8, negative 10, and negative 3. Was it 8x squared minus 10x minus 3? Yes, it was. Hit enter, and there it is. Negative 1 fourth. And three halves. So four goes in front and bring the one over. So it's four x plus one. Bring the two over. It's two x and bring the three over minus three. There it is. I'll do one last one. This twenty four g minus five g minus fourteen. 
Holy mackerel. There are so many different ways to multiply to 24. You'd be here all day doing this. I'm going to show you one last way to work backwards. 24, negative 5, and negative 14. So menu, algebra. I already forgot the numbers. I know the first one's 24. So we'll do 24 because that's a lot of numbers to multiply to 24. You can do 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. Negative 5 and negative 14. So negative 5, negative 14. Click OK. Is that your polynomial? Sure is. Oh, there's my two answers. Negative 2 over 3 and 7 over 8. So this 3 came in front, so that was 3x. And this 2 came back across, that's plus 2. This 8 goes in front, that's 8x. And the 7 comes across, that's minus 7. And there it is. So there's a tool that you can use on the TI Inspire. If you hate factoring, the TI Inspire is going to be helping you out. I should have notes in the thing where you can purchase this. I'll try to find a couple places that you can purchase it pretty cheap. And I'll also have a place where you can buy it online. So at least you can have it on your calculator and it would look, or on your computer, and it would look just like this. It would look exactly like this, and you'd be able to use it at home. You just It isn't that portable. Um, it's not something you're going to be able to bring around. It only will work on like a, 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 some kind of a laptop. Okay? Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoy, hit subscribe. I'll be doing some more tutorials on this calc on this calculator at some point. All right, guys. Peace out. Have fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay loving factoring.